Hi everyone, in this uh, tutorial I will present you uh, the installation and basic functions of DART which uh, stands for Dynamic Animation Replacer Tool. Uh, as you can see, the installation is very simple and is done in the same way as a normal mode through uh, Mode Organizer 2. You can, if you wish, add the executable file to your list of applications in the same way you have likely done for Nemesis or your SKIC launcher, for example. Uh, when the application starts, it will uh, review all the mods you have installed in your Mod Organizer 2 root and search for mods whose structure is partially or completely consistent with a mod using DAR. You can see that when it starts, the application detects folders with the same number, uh, that is to say the same priority for DAR, uh, and uh, these duplicates are displayed in the logger. Next, you have probably noticed the different sections. Uh, the first ones correspond to the filter you want to use, including animations, DAR conditions, mods, or DAR priorities. Once you have selected your filter, you can select an item, and in the output section, you will get all the corresponding results. For the example I have selected, it's all the folders where I can find uh, 1HM idle animations. If I change the category, uh, for example, let's say I want to see uh, all my uh, conditions uh, concerning uh, characters equipped uh, with a sword in the right hand, uh, that is to say, uh, is equipped right type uh, 1 uh, for DAR. And uh, if I click on it, you can see all the folders sorted by mode and by priority, which include this condition. Finally, if I select a mode or a priority uh, in this mode, I can directly rename this element from the interface, which is particularly useful if you have duplicates or if you want to change order for your priorities, moving them above or below another one, for example. Since there are priorities are reserved by decreasing order, as you probably know, as you can see, I can uh, also uh, directly uh, change uh, conditions from the interface, uh, that is to say, the content of a conditions file from there. You just have to save your changes by clicking the buttons. For example, let's say uh, I want to rename this mode. As you can see, it's very simple and changes are directly applied. Other features are planned for the future in terms of uh, quality of life, and I invite you to discuss uh, in comment section here and uh, on the mod page. But uh, personally, uh, it will change my life because uh, until now I was losing a considerable amount of time each time I wanted to customize or adjust my dark conditions. So having a tool that allows you to do everything in only one place and with no difficulty will really save me uh, a large amount of time, energy, and probably uh, mental health. I hope this tool will also be useful to you. Please consider to like, endorse, and to give me some feedback. And uh, I will be pleased to discuss uh, additional uh, features that you would find uh, as useful for the future. Personally, I think I will add uh, some kind of uh, automatic uh, sorting for DAR folders and uh, I think about uh, some uh, tools uh, to help the user to create some conditions or even to build some condition patterns. And uh, of course, uh, I think about uh, adding some uh, customization possibilities for the tools. And to be honest, it's already in the pipes. So please enjoy and uh, see you in the next one.